Okay, and welcome to another episode of the High School Dropouts, episode eleven. Yes, yes we <laughs> we thought we couldn't top last episode, but you know, to my surprise and to, to everyone, to everyone's surprise. Wait, that's actually true. I didn't even think about that. Like, we really thought that was our peak, but we really just <laughs> got given a. a I, I've made episode. mention of of a fourth host in the past. You know, a fourth high school dropout member. An OG with, with us since the beginning. And people doubted me. Like, people were like... Vanished. People were like, Jordy, like... Bro, this man is like the Avatar, bro. <laughs> this man vanished when the world needed him. Over. Yeah, people were like, Jordy, like, there's no such thing as a, a fourth a fourth host. Like, what are you talking about? Like, are you delusional? No, I am not delusional. If you look at First the all, bottom... I said that, so you might be delusional. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you look at the bottom right corner... Yeah, that joint right there that little joint right there hold on let me see uh this way i think that little joint we have we have yeah, richard yeah. <laughs> shout out richard um, the, one, the og yes one of the founding fathers bro of high school dropouts i think he was the standing lost. right next to yeah. Luis when he when Luis made the group chat the lost child yeah. so uh <laughs> You know, the fourth and final member. And uh, you got any words for us, bro? How you doing? How's your day been going? What's up? Mm, I don't know. I got I'm nothing to say. Yeah, actually, like, where I got to... Like, where have you been? Where have I been? Yeah, because you were in yeah, the group yeah. chat, and you would only pop up, like... Yeah, really we should out. clarify. We should clarify. You're still clarify. in the group chat, you know what I mean? Look, I, Richard, I Richard's an OG, but this man has been gone for, like, two years. He's been he, he he spent still excommunicated from chat. us. Digitally, I think. in our group chat, but he just doesn't respond. Man. He pulled yeah, the yeah. Sasuke and he left the hidden leaf. Like, this man just <laughs> severed all bonds. Why, Richard? Why? Why, Richard? Where you been at? What's, what's, Why? what's the plan? You know, honestly, if I think about it, I don't even know myself why I've been gone. I just... I've had other things. I've been busy with other stuff. I... I don't know, man. I, I think I just forgot the bond that we had. <laughs> I just felt like, you know, like <laughs> I lost it. And I was like, you know what? I've been, I, I shamed myself by being absent. And you know, I just postponed it. And, you know, it took a while. But you know, I, just, I just felt like it was the right time. I don't know. Like I had to, I had to make a comeback. I went for the one time. Damn. The one time. You love to see it. Hey, bro, all right, I think the, the question, the one thing that the millions of fans out there are dying to know, did you only come back because you saw we got clout and got a guest last Oh, bro. <laughs> did I come back for the, the fame? For the clout. And the, the eyes? The, the <laughs> did you come to steal our four things? viewers? That's the question right here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm here to promote my my own stuff, and then I'm just out of here. You know, what I mean, I got <laughs> I got mixtapes coming out, guys. I got um, <laughs> got new new products. Yeah. You guys gotta check it out. And hey, I'd respect yeah. it. You know, I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> I hate to do it, but you know, it's just like when you see an opportunity, you just gotta take it. Bags, you know what? That's a hustle right there. Damn. But um yeah, so uh Richard, you've been gone from us for like about two years. What you've been doing for like how you are you in school now? Like what's going on with your, your daily now? You know, what's your yeah, current life? Yeah, you guys don't know what I've been doing, huh? Yeah. Since March. Yeah. March, you know, since uh, I dropped out. I've probably been uh you know, just you know, I've been at ASU, I've been I'm a student now, I'm a college student, full college student, just like I'm sure you, most of you guys also. You, you'd be surprised, uh, actually. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro, wait, wait, wait. Take a guess. Take a guess. One of us actually dropped out. Take a guess who. One lived up actually to the dropped out. Yeah, one yeah. lived up to the name. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, who seems the most. <laughs> hmm. Right. Okay. So, oh, you were in Darius Wolf's class uh, in, the bad, in the bad table group. There's one of us from there. Oh, I was. You weren't there. It's Fabian. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. <laughs> 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 I would have never guessed. Yeah. 
and you're the one that brought it up. I thought it was somebody else. I know, else. yeah, I thought I was trying to do it. I was trying to throw you off, but this man just <laughs> ruined it. You said fuck school. Yeah, so you, you really dropped out. Bro, I got to live up to the name, you feel me? Like, one of us got to do it. I'm taking one for the team. That's true. That's true. Not but, but like, why? You... why? <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm just not feeling it. I'm trying to do my own thing, like, on some business type stuff, you feel me? Like, I'm kind of... I mean, I'll probably go back if, like, worse comes to worse, but I'm trying to do some, like, entrepreneurial stuff on my own. Feel me? Okay. I, yeah. I, I mean, that makes sense. Like, if you if you feel like if you got other plans. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, why, why, why take the time? Why take the time to waste it and then yep. never achieve that? Yeah. I see you got that dropout mindset, bro. Yep. You care to join me? Same. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it, too. <laughs> I'm going to do it, too. So how's school going, bro? What you studying for? You got a major? I do. I got it. Like, I got... Okay. See, my major is kind of weird. Because it's, like... It's not something, like, common. Like, you know, you would think it would be, like, psychology or, like... I don't know, like, medical field or something like that. But it's not. It's astrophysics. Oh. It's not, God damn. It's just, like, you know, whatever, like, the stars. <laughs> so this man's not dropping out, man. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty... I don't know, it's pretty weird. I mean, it's just... Is it difficult? I mean, it's like, it, it's science and it's like, you know, you got to do a lot of math with it, you know, physics. I don't know if y'all took physics when you were in okay. like high school, but, you know, it's a lot of math. No, we were dumb. We took nothing. We took the core minimum. I didn't even take a science. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, I was struggling. Oh, man. Oh, man. That, now that he brought out the science. I took a final today. Or not the final, the unit exam, and then tomorrow I'm gonna take the final. And On a Saturday? Was, yeah. I was saying boy, fun to have an essay do. Gee, that shit hard as fuck. Not even cap. And then I cheated on my math final. I don't know if I can say that. But you know that T I I did too. Four calculators, you got like the little cover joints. I was like, I ain't passing this shit. I need to pass with an A. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so I taped my phone to the cover. So I would pretend I was doing the math, but I was using a uh, hey, Luis. Hey, so. Luis. <laughs> you let me, just to, I don't mean to one up you or anything, but I, I did the same crap and I actually texted Jordy during my test, bro. And I was like, hey, yeah. can you figure this problem out for me real quick? And then he sent me the answer and I put it in my test, bro. Now, for me, it was just like some of the work. I didn't want to take too long doing the work because it was like 50 yeah. minutes. And I was like, all right. Oh, God, yeah. They don't give you no Let time. Let me just fucking do this. Because the final, it was like 16 questions. So I was like, mm -mm. Let me just fucking cheat real quick. Get 100. And I'll be on my way. Did you get 100, though? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, nice. The piece of lemon squeezy. 100? Yeah. It was basic, though. Uh, algebra. Not too crazy. But yeah, same. I'm consuming, though. All right, so what do we want to talk about today, fellas? I have some topics, actually. Yeah, you look eager, Jordy. You, you're, like, wobbling around. Really uh, no, 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 because I'm, I'm checking the cameras because I feel like y'all are, like, literally going, like, one frame per second. Oh, I can't. Oh, really? That's why I'm I moving to see, like, Luis if I'm is. going, like... It's mostly Luis and Fabian. Uh oh, our shitty Wi-Fi. Well, well Fabian's yeah. better now, but... Camera sixty frames. Yeah, I think you know what it might be. Huh. It might be that like our cameras are like four eighty p, but like I'm streaming it at ten eighty p, sixty p, oh, sixty frames. Yeah. <laughs> like it just can't. This math computer is too strong. <laughs> anyway, you, you got some to topics for us, bro? Yes, I actually have some topics. Okay, okay, okay. I think today's the day. <laughs> now that we have Richard here, that we we bring up the. <laughs> Because we wanted to talk about the Logan, the Jake Paul and homeboy boxing match. Yeah, talk about that Nate Robinson bullshit, trash ass, garbage ass fight. <laughs> okay, but oh wait, I see why you bring this up. <laughs> yes, I want to bring up the. I want to introduce what we did. Uh oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, do you want to give context or? Should I or, or how are we doing this? Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it real quick. So, all right, basically, 
believe it or not, the well, Luis wasn't really a part of it, but me and Jordy and Richard up here, uh, some other people where we swore we were like the greatest boxers on the planet during our <laughs> senior year of high school. And so we swore we were going to like do this big ass fight and we we're going to train for it and everything. And we did, to be fair, or I couldn't because I broke my damn hand. I but basically, hand as far as I, <laughs> I know, bro. I, I literally paid hundreds of bucks just to freaking fix my bone over a stupid fight, man. But yeah. anyway, we uh, we trained. You know, me and Jordy were in, like, one camp together. Richard and some other dude were in another camp together. We had a hell... And so you could say us and Richard were, were enemies at some point. Oh, you know but, yeah, like, once so, Richard left us, he, he, like, he wanted to kill us. Like, that man I know, was I, out for I, our I, blood. He really went full Sasuke on us. <laughs> now that I think about it, wait. Yeah. Came back to fight. The man <laughs> actually joined the Rochimaru. Wow. Not the crazy and now he's on a podcast, bro. Who would have thought? <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we were training. It was it was a pretty serious, you know. Me and Jordy would train like like twice a week or something like that. And uh, uh, yeah, we eventually the day came and I couldn't fight, but Jordy fought. Yeah. Richard fought. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think I think a lot of that stemmed from like all the YouTubers fighting at that same time and like a lot of us thought that like, oh, if they could do it, we could do it. So we just started training too. It was stupid, but you know, that's we're just freaking teenagers in high school, so that's what we did. Weren't y'all gonna charge we really also the fight, correct? We no? actually we we wanted people to pitch in for like an actual like box that way we can run like an actual boxing like little thing. Right. And food. Yeah, food. Oh, and food. food. <laughs> and how long was it? Like, shit, 10 minutes? It was, right. it was much longer than that. It was like a whole event, actually, bro. <laughs> it was like an hour. But the thing is, it could have easily gone on for longer because, like, so many people who were supposed to fight didn't end up fighting. Like, yeah, no, like, people were flaking out. 50% of the people didn't show up at all. Oh, God. They just ended up being, like, it's... Dude, now that I'm looking back at that, that's like, <laughs> it's like the cringiest thing we could have done, bro. Like, we were literally, we're going around like, I'm about to mess you up, bro. Like, man, shut oh, up. Oh, bro. And Miss Wolf's class, you and um, Jesse would just be talking and shit, like, talking shit. <laughs> well, bro, you, like, you, you, you didn't like, drop them already, so. It was like, like, it was just supposed to be between us, but the whole class knew about that shit, and then the word spread. And, See, because it was yeah. Jesse. It was that man. Jesse was promoting it. He was. Yeah, he was a... Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> it was the one that like started the beef. Wait, since yeah, you were like started the beef. Since you were inside the whole thing, you were, <laughs> you were um Jesse's training partner. Do you want to give us like the your perspective? I guess. Oh yeah. Like you want, like you want me to tell you how it was like training for the fight. Yeah, training, I like just like how like it just all started because I'm pretty also, sure Jesse was the one who like brought it up in the first yeah. place. Also, did you guys genuinely Wait, hate yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He doesn't hate you guys. <laughs> I, know, I mean, he he might have had like a little bit of like tension when he was like pitching the fight because you know he wanted he wanted you guys to get riled up. You know, he wanted you guys to have like motivation to like actually you know put in the effort and train, but. You know, at the end of the day, I mean, he just wanted people to show up. That's all he wanted to do. Yeah. You know? And I mean, you guys, you guys know what happened, right? Like before that fight, we had like another fight in January that we did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So pretty much like everything, like the entire planning process and all that, that happened like in November. So we were all hanging out. We were all like talking about stuff. And then I don't remember if it was me or him but one of us thought that uh it would be really cool if we fought just because i i got like really into boxing like end of first semester of senior year and he was like oh you know you got your training a little bit because you know jesse's like bigger than me so he was like oh like i could whoop your ass like real easily <laughs> and i was like i mean i've been training it would be pretty good if i could test it out but then we just decided to fight that day and then we got two more other people to join us on that day. We did it in January. And that fight was pretty whack. Like, I lost. I lost so bad. Like, I lost so bad that I was like, man, we got to do this again. Yeah. And then we planned it out again. And then we had you guys join. That was, that was when the stakes got way higher. 
thing is like i mean like, the thing is i mean i'm not trying to say like you guys are like you know like we, we were like thinking about finding you guys from the start but abian yeah. and jesse that was like a good matchup and then me and jordy that was like an even better matchup you know because of the height they, so we wait, like, what do you mean <laughs> there's literally no I good mean, matchup with me <laughs> we're not the same height you know it's at least better than like me and jesse or like if i was to fight fabian it would be like crazy height difference okay well i was training with fabian so that was the craziest height difference ever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean we were, we were just like our, our training wasn't as crazy as your guys is i don't think i mean we were just like like sparring like sparring every once in a it once in a while you know uh we we didn't even like I mean, start we didn't exactly anything. like go out or anything <laughs> i mean didn't we like we hike really, like whole like, hills and like with like 32 <laughs> case water uh, but like i feel like that's not even <laughs> it wasn't even that much bro like we, we we just did hikes and we would do like push-ups and weights and that's about it <laughs> hey bro maybe i should have pushed you harder hey, no i was struggling i'm not gonna lie like, <laughs> getting up that bro you saw me like tapping out holding the water cases where i'd like try to pass it to you but um feel like i mean it wasn't too bad but you know it's kind of crazy like looking back at it like yeah it was kind of dumb but at the same time it like it kind of made like ib interesting for a little bit you feel me because like everything was kind of stale like everybody was just like worried about their classes and everything like it felt like for a second people were trying to like actually enjoy their senior year and like be like oh the boys are doing a stupid fight and the girls were like oh let's go watch them and like like placing bets they and all that. ever go like the girls Wait, what? Some of them did. Wasn't um, it just like Amalia because of Jesse and then a couple of others? It was Jorge like three, and Ale went. And Vanessa too, right? Or something yeah, like that. and Anna and a couple of people actually. It was really fun, but I, I feel like it could have been better, you feel me? But like that, that I'm looking back, like I'm kind of like whoever started it, whether it was you or Jesse, like that was that was dope, bro. Like that was kind of a cool period because like it actually like pushed, like I never like worked out like that hard before. So I was like, first of all, that was good, you know, just to be working out, like trying to get in shape. And secondly, that was just fun, you feel me? Like, it was just dope. Well, personally, I developed severe PTSD from that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I actually oh, just man. can't fight anymore. Like, I just have, like, severe <laughs> post-traumatic stress I'm, disorder. I'm so sorry, bro. <laughs> from the to fight the or from, like, the training? It was from, like, the fight. Like, fighting in general, like, I'm just not a fighter. That's why I was, like, garbage at wrestling. Like, besides my height, like, I was just never, like, I actually never just, I never liked fighting, like, you know? He's a fighter, or he's a lover, yeah. not a fighter. So, like, just, like, fighting in general, and, like, especially, like, boxing, since it's more, like, you're actually, like, trying to hurt someone. Because, yeah, like, like, in, in like, wrestling, like, at least you can, like, do techniques to, like, to, like, restrain them, but you're not, like, actually hurting them, like. But, like, boxing, you're yeah. actually trying your best to, like, knock them down, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it was just hard for me to actually, like, to box no, in general. we're crackheads. We were literally trying to kill each other, man. <laughs> God. <laughs> and then just from all the hits, too, like, because Fabian was, like, obviously much taller than me. So, like, he would just hit me, like, in the top of my head. Like, uh, like it was always, like, <laughs> like, no, head. Here's the thing. You didn't even defend yourself. Right. You didn't even put your hands up. You I mean, how, even... how am I going to defend when he could literally just, like, Hit my the top of my head. That's true. <laughs> but you literally think, think. Like there's literally no, cause he there's Wait, such Jordan. a reach difference. Like this man could just Can like. Put the clip up. Can you put the clip up? Yeah, you want me to put the clip up? <laughs> put the clip. Oh, John, oh, for real? oh my god. Oh, I got, got the slow mo. Um, hold yeah, up. Slow, no, there's like cause we used to record our training and there's a slow mo clip of me just like oh. dick in his head, where it's just like two like hit markers. Wait. Just, like, Say Let me put it on. Well, it wasn't Discord. down. Bro. I wasn't doing like that. Oh. <laughs> Hold up. Well, you guys can keep talking while I like try to set it up. That's kind of crazy. Cause like on the other hand, like the opposite of Jordy, that like I never realized that like I actually started to actually like um boxing too. Kind of like you, Richard. Like I actually started like really like I thought like I could like take it far, but I was like, wait, like I'm kind of kind of nice with it like all of a sudden i started like searching up videos on technique and like everything and I was, yeah like, mm. until you actually get your ass beat by someone who actually can throw hands like <laughs> i know but like it was so fun okay so i yeah. sent i sent the the link to the the discord the discord yeah oh. um hold up like obviously fighting isn't for everyone and 
like it's not for the majority of people obviously but i think like at least training for it is like a, like a good positive of like just staying in shape and stuff and like keeping you like motivated on some stuff you feel me Hold up. i mean it's good like it's good to train but when you're, when you're getting hit all that goes out all the benefits are just like oh, i don't something this, this is it you feel like you just you just ran <laughs> did all that stuff you get brain damage but... yeah no yeah for sure that's why i was that's why i was genuinely excited to fight bro like i was like so excited to fight especially jesse because we're like on the same height like pretty close in weight you know like I was like, damn, like, I get, like, an actual challenge, you know? No offense, Jordy, like, obviously, but, yeah. like, because, like, the height difference was too much, you know? Like, I was, I just had, like, a natural advantage, but, like, that's Wait, I'm was, showing like, the, the clip on the stream. Oh, yeah, yeah. Though it, <laughs> though it never happened, it's... It been I know, dude, fight. I... Literally on... We had, literally, the week of the fight, we brought um our friends over, like, a bunch of, like, tall dudes... So that they could fight us, so that we could like experience like well, they weren't all tall. Like one of them was like six five, freaking tall as hell. One of them like was like average height, you know. Like we had like a whole bunch of different height like of our friends. So we're like, oh, let's give them some gloves and let's test out our range with like all the heights. You feel me? So we could be prepared. Um, I was fighting like all of them, and then on one of the dudes, this man was like straight whacking me, bro. Like he was going at it, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and take this. So then I was like, I'm gonna start smashing them too you feel me but the thing is when i did when like my i lost my mentality and like i lost my head like my cool my coolness i was like throwing hands wildly like no technique whatsoever just because i wanted to hurt him because he was yeah i was just swinging wildly because i like lost all technique because i was like bro this man's like throwing hits and i threw like a ugly like right hook like ugly like i had my arm like my wrist bent and then when it hit it just like snapped my wrist and i was like bro like 800 Uh Oh, they're just down there. You like the bent yeah. that shit. Damn. Yeah, no, for real. It was I like that thing hurt and I was like I was like, is this normal? And then everyone's like, Man, you tripping, you tripping. I was like, All right, I guess I'm tripping. And I was like, nah, like it hit like like almost bedtime. Like, it was late as hell and I was like, Hey, I gotta go to the ER and I go and they x ray me and it's like it's broken. <laughs> and I was like, God damn. Oh my god. Nah, like the god. thing is like after we finished like practicing, we were like, yo, like let's get some like frozen yogurt. <laughs> So this is bad because I can't drive. So Fabian's like my my personal driver out here. He's my he takes me everywhere I need to go. So this man was like it was driving with this broken hand, but like he was like he was doing like the little stick shift thing or whatever. And like he was like, yo, like I can barely like <laughs> put my car on like parking or whatever. I'm like, bro, like you're tripping, like like just pull it. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was just trying to put my car in park and I couldn't push the the shift. And Jordy was like, "Bro, you trip it, just put it in, in park." And I'm like, "Bro, I cannot. Like, I'm trying to put it in park." I was like, like "Bro, just it. have some frozen yogurt. It'll make you feel better." <laughs> Turns out I had a whole broken bone, bro. Like, put it on your put it on your wrist, pull it down. I know, right? But yeah, that was the only downside. <laughs> And it's crazy because, like, I low key still want to do it again, even though, like, that should make me want to stop. Oh, yeah, I kind of want to do it too again, but I mean, I don't want to force people into it. Like, I feel like the last time I did it, there were some people that didn't actually want to participate or we just like pressuring them to do it. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's messed up. But, you know, if, if there was like people that actually want to participate, I, I would be down. To be fair, yeah, I feel like, like all the people that good. didn't want to participate didn't end up participating you feel me like they didn't even show up oh yeah i mean there was like a couple people there was like people that had excuses to leave but uh, that i think they just didn't want to they didn't want to fight see which is cool they're right? just cowards because i didn't want to fight and i still showed up and you put up a hell of a fight bro <laughs> even against someone way taller than you yeah, you, a lot. <laughs> you did your best yeah it's the the matchups that you had to go through. Yeah. Wait, who did you end up fighting? Like it was that. Jesse and who else? Richard. Oh, you fought and Richard. I fought Richard. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why oh, did why I he didn't want to join the freaking podcast, bro. Oh, I know. Wait, I thought we had. E. I thought we had. E. <laughs> How did that fight go? I don't even remember. It was mostly. I want to say probably Richard had like the advantage. Like he he probably won. It was it was, it was mostly close. I'm not gonna lie. But I think Richard. Like, had, I would like, say, 
I'll say I got like a good amount of hits in, but at the end, Jordy really fought back. Yeah, because at kinda, like at that point, made... I was like, I was done, right? I was like, I don't want to fight anymore. But like, let me <laughs> let me just take these off. So I was just like backing off a lot and like just letting him like hit me. Like I was just like blocking and he was just like hitting me. But I, I was like, I I don't want to fight anymore. Like then like at the end, I was like, whatever, let me just try then. So then I I started fighting back a bit. Dude, that's the thing that I was trying to tell Jordy for the whole time we were training. This man has hits, like he has hands, but it's just like he, he and it's not in his nature to want to hurt people, you know? Like he's too he's too kind. So he'll like hold back and reserve. But like I kept telling him like, "Bro, you got to let out that like animalistic <laughs> nature and just like unleash, bro, just like let it rip." Like awesome Beyblade stuff, bro, like just go. But oh, this man was, awesome just did not want to. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I feel like if we had more time, this man could have been, like, the best, bro. Oh, God. Nah, you can't change who I am. <laughs> That's true. If he wanted. Yeah. If he had the heart. <laughs> if he didn't have the heart. His heart in. <laughs> See, especially because it's, like, people I know. I feel like if, like, some stranger tried to, like, mug me, oh, then, yeah. then I'll put up a fight. You know oh, what? Yeah. That's true. That's true. Because fighting is just not, like, it's not really natural, you know? Like, like... Maybe like in the freaking what like the medieval ages, but like now like everyone's just like chill as hell. So we put ourselves in like a weird position. I can't lie; it is a bit traumatic to like see like hit people that you like are friends with, and just like like the whole point is like you're in a fight, and the whole point is to hurt the person. But the person you're fighting is like like you've known them for like four years. Oh my god, and, and bro! Because like, bro. Me and Jordy, like, that's my bro, bro. Like, that, that's like, that's the dude. Why you did not give a fuck? You care. Yeah, I don't know what Fabian's talking. No, 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 what's Fabian like? Yeah, Fabian has like, <laughs> Fabian. When we were, when Fabian and I were training, this man was just like, like he had this look to him, like this man lost all, like his pupils dilated, and he just became a different person. <laughs> Like, this man, like, <laughs> lost it. Like, no, this man started no, making, listen, like, listen. he started making, like, the Street Fighter noise. He was like, shoo, 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 shoo. And I was like, bruh, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Bro, okay. <laughs> that was one time. Yeah, anger towards you, bro. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm dead. Like, I, I still I, remember I, that look to this day, bro. Like, I'm God. Like, I will never forget <laughs> that look on your eyes. Oh my, bro, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize <laughs> I hurt you that bad. <laughs> oh my god, like emotionally, bro. I, I'm so I apologize. Oh my goodness. Oh. Anyway, we're talking about <laughs> Jake Paul and Nate Robinson. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after the after the case sci-fi, I vowed to never watch fight between YouTubers like that ever again. Trash. A man didn't have a chance. He did not have a chance. One hit and he was just died. <laughs> uh, although they uh, show me your fucking what is it? I don't know that little challenge to Nate Robinson challenge and people just laying on the <laughs> over. It's so <laughs> funny, bro. Like it's that little TikTok. It's just funny. <laughs> like they violating my man out here, bro. That's crazy. It's truly unfortunate. You hate to see a a man of the people go down like that. And no. the thing is, like other like black people, they're like, "Oh, like I can't let you do my boy Nate like that." So we're gonna have to get in the ring, Jake Paul. And the thing is, they're like they're like gangsters or whatever, like rap people. They're gangsters, so I don't know, it's just funny. Cause... Wait, people were actually. I feel like like everyone was like climbing on him. I saw. I didn't see a single person like supporting him. <laughs> Oh, that's the thing. Like they were trying to support him. It was like a backhand, like compliment type of thing. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that's what they're doing. Like Block Boy, he was trying to get it. He's trying to get it with uh Jake. Damn. Jake is trying to fight with Connor. Like bro, like that's you're not winning that fight. I know Connor McGregor. He's not a boxer. He's MMA, but he's trying he, to fight Connor. Yeah, he's called him oh, out, bro. What's like, the... not win. <laughs> this man's tripping. I heard he was Can you go to fight Mayweather. Can you yeah. go fight Mayweather, or is that Logan? Oh, no, that's Lo yeah, Logan's trying to fight Mayweather. Like, bro, what don't really that's... Matter. I mean, that's that that fight's gonna end so quick. <laughs> if this one bro, ended, I I understand. You know, they, that's pretty ballsy to like you know do that. But the thing is, 
Like they're pro fighters. They did that for a living for so long. You did YouTube. Like you have no freaking professional career, despite what they say. Like they, they don't have that same training. Well, like, how do you think like other boxers feel? Because like you know, people like train to like be the best, and like imagine like just being like Logan Paul and take. Oh, I want to fight like Mayweather, dude. and like you know, like dude, yeah. Did you see? Okay, so when Logan and KSI fought the second time, they did. Um, they were the headline event of the fight of the like the day, mm-hmm. and there was literally a world championship fight under them, like in the under. Oh under yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was like Devin Haney or versus um someone else, and then it was Billy Joe Saunders versus some other dude. Like two world championship fights that like actually like professional boxers that know what they're doing, and then the headline was KSI v Logan. Bro. And it was just like like people were saying like it was making a mockery of the sport. Yeah, and no, that, like yeah, and the guy was like selling out just so that he could get more sales for the fight, you know. And uh, I mean, I kind of get it, but at the same time, you have to understand like it's just like about who brings the most eyeballs to the sport, you know. And obviously, the promoter is not going to be like it's a dirty sport, bro. It's a dirty sport. Yeah, it involves a lot of money and corruption and shit. It's a commercial sport. You got advertising all that. For real. But I, I don't know. I kind of feel like, like, let's say it was something else, right? Let's say it was like, let's say uh, KSI started, like, uh, seriously learning how to do, like, soccer. You think, like, like freaking Barcelona's just going to sign him? Fuck okay. no. I, I don't think so. You can't <laughs> even run, bro. Like, exactly. You can't even <laughs> but, kick the ball, right? Like, but he, no. can't fight. he can't fight either compared to, like, real fighters, but they still let him headline the whole event. So, do you think, like, soccer would be like, oh, this guy's bringing eyeballs and, and people are buying I mean, tickets? They did, they did, like, those charity matches against those other... No, I'm talking, like, a real club, though. Like, like get uh, some... Like, he wouldn't, like... Because, just... like, what's the difference? You feel me? It's the same thing. But it's I feel right. like it's... I don't know. Well, to be fair, I feel like it's, it's like, more entertaining to watch someone get their ass beat than it is to, like, <laughs> them playing, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's true. Compared to soccer, compared to boxing, it's a big difference. Boxing You're not... Like, no fucking club's gonna spend money on some YouTuber that has no experience just to play one match. Like, no. Nah, it's not work. Wait, not if good. that happened, like, how would you feel, Luis? I would be fucking pissed. Because I'm over here busting my ass, doing fucking... Waking up early. I don't... Well, I haven't told you guys that, but... Waking up early, and it's cold-ass weather. Well, it's cold for us. <laughs> Go run, go practice on my own, go do all that shit. And just for a motherfucker to do that, like, nah, that that's not, I don't know, that's just disrespectful. That's just, I don't know, I'd be mad as fuck. How, how y'all feel about uh, about YouTube rappers then? I just don't like YouTube rap- rappers, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I've never yes. heard, to this yeah, day, no. I have not heard the diss tracks that Fabian told me to listen to in sophomore year. Like freshman year? So- in sophomore year. <laughs> The only one I yeah. like is DDG and only like one song, Moonwalking uh, and Calabasas. Or but the Calabasas. thing is, it like, you know how you were saying, like, uh, like if, uh, if a YouTuber, like, got signed to a big old club, you'd be, like, hella pissed because it's, like, they only use their clout to get signed and not their skill. Isn't it kind of like the same thing? You know how, like, Jake Paul was making music? Like, the only reason his music is taking off is because he's already famous, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. And I, people actually think it's good music. It's not, bro. Like, it's, I don't give a fuck what you say. Awful fucking, uh, awful music. I don't care what you say. Awful. I don't, I don't love it, but like, you can't deny, like, when you got a good ghostwriter and people who know how to mix music, bro, like, it sounds good. We got a go- good ghostwriter. <laughs> I mean, huh? it, it kind of sounds like he wrote it himself. Yeah. If you're like, oh, well, I don't really like it. I don't know, but like, I'm just saying, Maybe like, when producers, you have people... I feel like you got, you got a good team, but. When it comes yeah. to them lyrics, I think it's all, it's all it's original. I heard bro. like, I heard there was like <laughs> a whole scandal that like, uh, some rapper wrote his lyrics like designer or something. I forgot. Drake, yeah. wasn't Drake. there a whole thing with him? Lil Yachty and the uh, City Girls or what? What was that? Is that them? City Girls. Um, he wrote. He was writing their songs and shit. <laughs> Lil Yachty. Yeah. Damn. Lil Yachty go hard. I don't know. Eh, actually, no, I'll take that back. Some of his music, eh, it's all right. Not all of it. I feel like some of it's good. Some of it's... Some of it's, eh. 
I, I low-key don't care if, like, there was, like, Ghost Riders involved, honestly. If it's good music, it's good. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. No, I don't, no. I don't no. Know. I, was, I mean, if the delivery was trash, that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. like, if, if it sounds better, good, then about it's good. It. Like, the, for what me, does though, that change about the song? Like, because person, like, if the lyrics are good and, like, you can relate to them, like, how does the fact no, that, like, someone, like, goes right exactly, at the song 100%. change the, the meaning? The thing is, look, 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 so, obviously, if the song sounds good and you, you resonate with it, cool. That's a good song. Um, that's, that's whatever. But if you're trying to claim that you're, like, the best rapper, you're like, bro, I'm the best lyricist on the planet and yeah. you got people yeah. ghostwriting, like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. you can't do that. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's what I mean. Yeah, because there's like a difference between judging like the actual music and judging like the artist. Yeah, yeah, my sure. man, yeah. Hashi, bro. He was claiming all this, and look at him. Look at him. I mean, his music is both garbage, and he's just a terrible human being. So, <laughs> nah, it know. is what it is. I love people like him. I feel like they like him because he's a meme, little clown. I actually like his music. Wow, like I don't know. I would. I can't listen. I can't stand up. Six nine song, fucking awful. It's not my type of music. Anyways, that was awkward as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so are we done with that topic, or does anyone want to add on to it, or, or what we... was the topic? I can't remember what we were talking about. Boxing and shit, and then we went to music, <laughs> like we're into boxing and then YouTube rapping, and then. And then 6'9". I'd just be like that. I did on 6'9". Oh, oh, yeah. Six, you a rant. Okay. What should I do here? I have, like, two things I want to talk about. Oh. Uh, the best part. Okay. The best one. I think this one might be my weaker one. All right, okay. boys. Clearly you know, ran again. You know, it's, yeah. like, tradition, like... We all we always like have to talk about women in this podcast and how much I dislike women. <laughs> oh, you know, and this episode is no different than exactly. the other eleven yeah. episodes or ten episodes. Yeah, because I have two and stories regarding story. women. Two, two, two stories. Oh, okay. Those. Okay. Yeah. So. Go ahead. Because I mentioned this. Okay, first of all, I'll do the the. Okay, whatever. Okay, so, you know, I was just chilling, you know, laying in bed, meeting off like we all do. Oh, my God. Uh, don't say that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways. um, It's relevant to the... <laughs> if y'all, it's okay. relevant because it shows how how much of a low life I am and, like, why this, why this might ha- actually happen. Anyways, okay, I, I have a Tinder. I'm not going to lie. Like, I started that joint up. It's like my it's my side gig. Your side hustle. <laughs> my side hustle. Um. So like, I started Tinder and like, I just like have it there. Like, I don't even like be swiping. Like, I just have it there. Like, in case like someone like likes me or whatever. But, like, but yeah, like I'm not even like trying. I just just there. Yeah. But like, I've had it before too. Like, I've had it like even when I was living in AZ and like, I've had it like for some time now. Hold well on. Anyways, there was one time, one time where, um, where I think, um, in my bio, in my Tinder bio, I put my, my snap. Uh Like, it was, like, for, like, two days or something. But, like, after that, like, I deleted the the snap, right? I'm, like, giving context to, like, the the story. Yeah. Anyways, on this fateful day when I was, like, laying in bed and beating off, I got, I got added by someone on snap. A young, a young woman. And like, you know how like in Snapchat it tells you like how, like the method they added you, like it, it either says like they added you because like it was suggested. Username. Or like first, they actually yeah. searched the username. Oh, yeah. Okay. And like it said that she actually like searched my username. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, that's kind of weird champ. So like she messaged me and she was like, hey, like. I, no, I blocked her ass actually. <laughs> I was gonna refer back oh, to the sure. messages, but you know they got they got snapped out of existence. Um. Uh, anyways, um, she said something along the lines of like, "Hey, like, like we matched on Tinder, 
which by the way that was a red a red flag because that's how like i ha- that's when i started having my doubts like straight off the bat because i was like first of all i've never had a single match on tinder so you are like <laughs> but um she was like hey like we matched on tinder like a while ago and like i thought you were really cute but like i had to delete my my tinder but like i kept your snap and like and i saw you on tinder recently so like i decided to like to add you up again like hit you up and i was like yeah. you know that makes that, that makes sense because i used to have my tinder like my snap like on my bio like a, a while ago mm. and like like i deleted my tinder and like i made i made the tinder recently again so like she probably saw me so that makes like it, it lines up like even though i said like i haven't matched with anyone i i have like matched with people but yeah so like I was just lying about that, um, but yeah, like I have matched with people. So I was like, you know, like this this sounds like a reasonable like like a story. Like it sounds legit. She planned it out, man. She knows her <laughs> stuff. Um. Anyways. Um. What was I going? Um. Oh I, I, I told you guys all this context just to not hit. <laughs> oh, like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> um. It's right there. Crap, because I'm trying no. to remember like what she what she said next. Uh, I gotta tell the stories again. Okay, 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 okay. I was like, I was like, like I'm not gonna lie, like I don't remember you. That's like exactly what I said. I was like, I don't remember, like I don't remember you. Yeah. And then she was like, she was like, oh, like, like I'll send you something that that might like re- remind you of me. And I was like, ayo. So she proceeds to send some dudes, <laughs> and what? I'm like, "Hey, yo, like these are kind of hot." <laughs> you don't say that. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But I was like, uh, I was like, "No, no, no, no." Um, she sends the nudes after she said, "Like I'm gonna send you something like that might like spark up some memory." I was like, "Okay, like just send it, whatever. Uh-huh. I don't care." spark up your memory did she have her new yeah she, her, she like, had like her face like she showed her face so like she had like a close-up of her face it. and then like she oh, she did one man. of these joints where she <laughs> <laughs> the and video it, it was it was it was a video and like she also used like the like the snap like the snap feature to send it so like i thought it was legit again like i like she was like an actual person oh yeah like it was like uh the purple bubble joint thingy yeah i feel you so I was like, there's like, yeah, there's no yeah. way a bot can fake it. So Wait. she she did like this joint, like, like straight down to her, to her pussy. Oh my god! <laughs> Is she like practically like shoved it down there? I was oh like, god, god damn! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, did she just do this to everyone? What? You mean a peel? A peel? I got that POV of her insides. <laughs> what the? Anyways, I was like. Yeah, I still don't remember you. <laughs> that's like exactly <laughs> that's, what I said. I was like, "Yeah, I don't remember you." And that—that's when, when I saw her face. By the way, that's when I was like, "Okay, I, like she's she's like lying." Because I, if I if I would have matched, it was like, because she was like she was attractive. Like I'm just gonna be honest, she was like a good looking woman. And I was like, if I would have matched with like uh like this woman, like I'm pretty sure I would have like remembered. I, I would have had that memory held dear to my heart. So I was like, okay, like there's something up, right? But I still said, yeah, I still I don't remember you. And then she hits me with the, uh, I can't see your, I can't read your message because like Snapchat is, like preventing me from reading your message. But if you subscribe to my Snapchat Premium, oh. I can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you subscribe to my Snapchat Premium, then maybe I can see your message. And I was like, oh, bro, like. It's a wrap. <laughs> Yo, Luis is. So, so was it real? <laughs> I was really like. Hold on, I'm still not done. Hey, he thought he bagged a shoddy and shoddy would on back him. I mean, I had my I doubts. Was getting I, her bag, I had my doubts. So, like, oh, I, I wasn't, like, sad. Like, there was no. By the way, like, I'm beyond repair at this point. Like, there's nothing that could break my heart. Yeah, but like, still stack premiums. What the fuck? <laughs> but anyways, um, she was like, "If you buy like my my Snapchat premium, like maybe you can like message me. Like we can try it." It's like, she was like, 
I only charge like monthly, but like, you know, and I was like, bro, like, come on, like, don't be like a dumbass. Like, you can, you could have like done like any other method of messaging, but that's like exactly what I said verbatim. I was like, don't be like a dumbass. Like, you could have done like whatever. And then like, she like, she sent like another message. I don't remember, but I, then I was like, like, let me just block this hoe. And that's that. Uh, that's my first first example of women being garbage. Well, is that garbage, bro? She's just getting her bag. Yeah, because she, she was lying. Bro, I, don't, I don't give a fuck what you say. That is not chasing your bag, bro. That's you being a whore, bro. Selling yourself, bro. That's <laughs> prostitution, dog. And, like, the thing is, like, she could have, like, been... That's not prostitution, bro. Okay, that's she not prostitution, by the way. But, but like, she... Like, the way like, she was going about it, that's just garbage. Like, let's be honest here. Because, like, some women, like... Some women just like straight up be like, okay, if you're not gonna, if you're not subscribing to my Snapchat premium, don't talk oh, to me. Yeah. But yeah, like, bro, let, oh, me and Jordy went to that. <laughs> I, I hate how we, we can relate. <laughs> because one time it happened, to me, I was playing, we were playing COD and it was like two in the morning. And this uh, girl hit me up and she said the same. She's like, buy my Snapchat premium or don't waste my time. And I was like, uh, who the is you like why the fuck am i gonna buy your premium bro like fuck out of like and then she got mad and she bought me i was like, All right. like see like those women are respectable because at least they get straight to the point they're not playing any games they're actually chasing them back but like this particular woman she like m like made this whole like narrative up and, like, okay see the thing is i feel like you're too smart for her because i feel like that tactic that she's doing works on like every other guy. exactly that's that's Again, that's like she's trash. Yeah, like she's a trash human cool. being. Yeah, she's trash, but she's making money being trash, bro. Like okay, so that trash. doesn't. But we're arguing oh, about trash. her being trash. I don't care if she's chasing the bag. <laughs> that doesn't mean that she. Oh my, the whole argument was that she's trash, right? Okay, yeah, she is. Trash, she is trash. Maybe. Okay, yeah. like I don't. She is chasing the bag, like obviously, but like she is trash. Yeah. Damn. Anyways. Shout out, homegirl. What was my other example? My other yeah. example? Oh, that was funny. Okay, that one was my first example. Okay, then my second example. Or, why am I saying like it's like a whole paper? <laughs> oh, but my second... Um, <laughs> For my second thesis. <laughs> my, my second evidence of women being trash. Okay, so I mentioned this girl like a while ago. Um, y'all remember that one girl who, who like told me like, what color do you think when you think of me? And I was like, yeah. I don't think of you. I don't remember. What the fuck? You don't remember? I don't remember. I don't well, like well you don't remember Richard. Cause I, I brought it up in the podcast. Uh, Anyways, it was this one girl, right? That I, like she was messaging. Well, we were talking, I guess we were messaging each other and like, she, she would like send me stuff and she would be like. Like, what color do you think of when you think of me? And I was like, I like straight up said, I don't think of you. <laughs> no, you were like, what makes you think I think of you? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. No, what what no, makes no, you no, think, no, yeah. No, what no, makes no. you think that I, yeah, <laughs> that it was exact, yeah. yeah. You were a lot more harsher than you're leading on, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's my, my memory. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. Anyways, we stopped talking and like, she apparently she had a she was she was like she broke up with their ice and they got back together and like that period we we stopped talking mm -hmm. anyway she's still with their boyfriend right because i i still mm -hmm. follow her or whatever because like i think i had a like, like commission art for me like mm -hmm. i commissioned art like from her and she, she drew like i think i told her she drew like the banner on my twitch um oh yeah channel or whatever so like i still followed her or whatever but like she just okay so like whenever she would like do like art like i would like say oh like this looks good or whatever like i would comment on it or whatever and like she would just like not reply or anything like she like would blatantly ignore me anyways keep in mind she's still with her with her boyfriend right yeah anyways i think it was like a week ago or something like one or two weeks ago homegirl hits me up right and she's like she's like hey like are you down to buy nudes 
Like I'll sell you my nudes for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Like keep in mind, she's still with your boyfriend, right? Oh my god. And this is where I was like, okay, first of all, you're not gonna come out here and like, like, quite frankly, you're disrespecting me because, because like I would like message like comment on your damn like art and like you would just like not reply or whatever. So for oh, yeah. you to like hit me up and like think that I'm gonna be giving you money. Just because you're like trying to like bribe me with your goddamn nudes, like first of all, I'm not having none <laughs> yeah. of that. Oh, next time you want, first of all, next time you want money from me, <laughs> either tell me like actually try to talk to me, or like don't, just like don't even talk to me anymore. And she was like, okay, like fine, whatever. Like I just wanted to buy a shirt, and I was like, bro, like you did all, that. you were legit like selling me your nudes for a goddamn twenty dollars oh, shirt. shirt. Like, how little disrespect do you have for yourself that you gotta do all that? And, like, keep in mind, she's still, like, dating her boy. Like, I don't know if, like, she could have asked her boyfriend or what. I don't know if the homeboy is broke or or what. But, like, she was legit, like, telling me to, like, send her, like, buy her nudes for $20 so she can buy a shit. There's no way, bro. What, like, dollars? Uh, Where do you you meet these girls? What the fuck? Anyways, I was like, (laughs) I'm not having none of that. Like, (laughs) don't don't talk to me anymore. Don't think I'm that like I may be horrendously down, but I'm not that down that I'm gonna be buying nudes from a goddamn girl who doesn't even like acknowledge me until she needs money. Damn, that's a king right there. Man. <laughs> like man, I'm God. Where, where is she from? Is what the girl did? Like what? You know, why even spend your time responding to her? Just fucking don't answer. Anyways, yeah, I'm in her no- trash. Sorry, in case in case you didn't know, Richard, this is a women hating podcast only, as you can see by the testosterone filled mm-hmm. <laughs> Discord squares we got here. Uh, <laughs> a reoccurring topic, though. <laughs> no, it not really contributing is. to it. Right? Oh my God! Uh, when when, when we have a female guest, I'm gonna be simping all over. Her. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, gonna see a completely different man. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be hilarious. We're about to like put the before clips and the after. Right? God damn. Anyway, on the same topic, Richard, you got any any stories to you'd like any Does Richard have hoes? Yeah, that's what we're asking. We, we gotta ask every guest. <laughs> oh, Ooh. I got stories about hoes. That's the question. Or do you have them currently, bro? Like <laughs> any experience? No. <laughs> no, I don't have them, and I really don't have any stories about bad encounters with women. <laughs> At least not as bad. The <laughs> that kind of and if it, if wait, <laughs> that story it's probably my fault. <laughs> Bad encounters with so. women, bro. That needs to be the like a a <laughs> playlist a playlist on our YouTube channel with Jordy just like <laughs> just clips of him. <laughs> Bad encounters, <laughs> just like bagging all women, bro. <laughs> I've never really kept up, but like, how many how many are we racking up at this point? No, like how yeah, many stories? It, it's literally a reoccurring segment yeah. in the podcast. Every <laughs> time, bro. It's every, it's like every. Thing. It's like every time thing. Yeah, it's weekly at this point. Yeah, it's juicy every time though. I mean, I might have yeah, one next true. time. You know, who knows? Who knows? Um, what the fuck? Damn. So, okay, so nothing. So if you have nothing to to bring up, I want to bring up something. Uh, I'm gonna make the the block hot, sure. as I say. Is that okay I'll with think you? Think about Richard? something later on, but. Yeah, yeah, I'll try to think about something, but if I come up, if you know, you could just yeah, yeah. go on. Okay, sure. cause that okay, so like at the at the peak of like all the excitement of like the boxing stuff, right? We're going back. Yeah, we're going back in time. You know, psychology, because Richard and I, we were you weren't in the same psychology class, but I think Jesse or I don't know, they 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 mentioned you like your name was brought up in psychology. Okay, and I I I recall hearing stories about about uh, your your first kiss. Are these Wait, are these oh. rumors true? Wait, Joy, that's kind of that's a oh, oh, wrong. Oh, well, I didn't say anything. That's no. why, like, I I made it true. specifically like okay. kind of vague. Wait, 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 hold up, because if you say that, there's actually a lot more to that than just like oh. you you heard something. I don't know what you heard, but. Whatever you heard probably isn't the full story. If that's 
If that's if you're trying to pry it out of me, that's what you're does, saying. Does that mean we're gonna hear the full story? <laughs> uh, that's kind of weird though, the way you brought it over, like what do you mean? Like, because I was <laughs> like, I know I was gonna make the block up, but I didn't want to like straight up say it. Yeah. But what? I don't know, cause like I feel like I want to go in depth into it, but like I kind of want to know what you heard. Cause I heard so you, I, can... I heard that you kiss like a particular person. Oh. <laughs> say it. Just say it. Just say it. We say you... everybody say it. I don't give a fuck. Quite frankly, like I wouldn't want that to be my first kiss. Wait, what? I don't <laughs> even know. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay, so what the fuck you, is we talking about? You don't know the whole story. Know you don't know the story. You don't know the truth. Oh. You just know the summary of it. Because there is that. But there's just, also something else. And I don't even know if I should bring it up because it gonna it gonna probably bring me down a little bit, but Oh, okay. That that first You don't got to, bro. Oh, you don't got to. Yeah. I gotta mention the name. What the fuck are you doing, bro? I don't know. Creating our don't guest. Know. No, our founder, bro. Our founding father. <laughs> Bro, this is literally the Mount Rushmore of the high school job. See, because I just heard about the kiss, right? But I didn't, like, I don't know, like, anything behind it. Because uh, that's all I heard of. Well, it's not that crazy, honestly. It was just, like, well, it happened at a park. Oh, shit. And it happened with me, uh, Jesse, Hold on. and two other people. Wait, yeah, wait. <laughs> I only said Jesse because I didn't want to say the other two's the other two's names. But he's not he's not he's not really that relevant to the story. (laughs) He's not the climax of the story, if that's what you're wondering. But basically it was me, him, and two other girls, two other girls. So you know that that's where it's leading to. And can you type the names on Discord? Bro, can you just say the names like fuck it? Like we don't. No, care. no, no! Don't say it. Don't say it. If you don't. Oh. Want to. I, mean, I mean, I mean, nobody's really gonna know. So I mean, no, no, I just, like, like if you do want to keep it like between us, like and you don't want to say like the names out loud, like in, on the stream, like you can just type the names on the Discord chat. But nah, I'll just say it. Fuck it. It's not like there are. Nah, nah, I'll just say it. Okay. Well. Okay. So it was me, it was me, Jesse, Celine. If y'all remember. Hey, Celine. shut the hell up. <laughs> Adela. Who? Adela. Adela. Okay. <laughs> so we were all at the park. I don't remember why we were there. We were just hanging out. Wait, who was the and girls again? Celine. Celine and Adela. Celine. If you Celine. remember. She... I don't, I don't know if I could say this. <laughs> Celine used to be an oh, IV. I think I know now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I know this story too. Hold on. I know what happened. <laughs> Oh. Wait, I, mean, I, I need to tell story the story. Is this is this story need to be told or is it just? Oh, well, I don't know the story, and I'm pretty sure Fabian doesn't know the story either. Yeah. I didn't even know there was a story. Okay, Richard, know, Rich, let it. let Richard say the story, please. Yeah. Okay, so this okay just for context because you know I I look a certain way and I act a certain way right now, but you gotta know that this happened three years ago or four years ago back in oh, freshman oh, year. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know how it went down. I know the story. Yeah. So y'all, y'all know what I looked like back then, right? It's okay. We y'all know that I, I was a little different, a little more, a little more down, a little more down than dumps. And I was with, I was with three other people. We were all in the park, and we were doing, you know, just like, just like dumb stuff, right? Like we were just like hanging out, like, uh, you know, maybe playing some, whatever you do at the park, right? like play basketball or play sports or whatever. And then it was like the end of the event. We were just all sitting on the grass. And then basically, we were playing spin the bottle. Oh God! And oh yeah, oh, I know. The story. <laughs> I know this. And we were <laughs> we were doing it right. Like I I did it because there was only like four people there. So if I didn't participate, that would have been dumb. It would have just been like Jesse. I mean, having four people in general is just dumb. Like I'm pretty sure yeah. you need like a much larger group than that. I know, I know, yeah. But it was just the four of us, so I just decided to be in there. And then, like the first. So spin the first time we ever spinned it it was me that spent it and i thought it was gonna go around to uh just like i don't know like some random place and then i would have to like like do it again but it went to me and adela no i know then, sorry <laughs> and then me and her when it happened i was just like oh fuck. because you know at that point that was i, I never kissed anybody right so i was like oh no this is it bad 
like what did i get myself into why am i <laughs> why am i here right now why am i gonna <laughs> have to do this because everybody was like oh damn like you gotta you know like you you did the you did the game and the rules of the game say that you have to kiss the person that's like at the other end of the, the bottle and i was like no 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 i'm not gonna do it and then adela she didn't like back off or nothing she wasn't like oh like you just let him off the hook or something like that she she wanted to do this she was like telling me like hey you gotta <laughs> you gotta kiss me right now because there's no <laughs> there's no way i'm gonna let this go like the game can't continue until you kiss me Bro, and i was at that point contract, I was freaking man. out yeah by the way if you guys to give some context about this is a Della girl she has yeah. a presence to her that's all i'm gonna say she's okay. a bit out there she's she's very outspoken so she was making a, a lot of on top noise. of that she's like 5'11 basketball yeah captain. yeah <laughs> yeah basketball captain like <laughs> WNBA type you know and she was just like telling me that she was telling me to kiss her and i couldn't do anything because she was more powerful than me she could have done whatever and i was just like i was just oh like man God. this is hard is this assault? like are you okay oh. are you making me <laughs> I don't know if I need to, <laughs> if I need to say, but yeah, I mean, it was just like whatever. Like I was just, I, I was nervous, man. I, I did not want to do this, and I, I was like, at this point, I was just like, I was trying to get away. Like I was like moving my face out of the way so she couldn't do anything. She like leaned in, and she like, she like literally planted her face on my cheek, and then she had it there, and then she like moved it out real quick, and then, you know, that was that was just what happened. And also, I think there's a picture of it too, but. Oh, uh -oh. That was the, oh, it was just that was pretty much what happened. I pretty much got uh, assaulted, violated. violated in some ways. You know. Wait, I was it just on the cheek though? What the fuck? Yeah, it was just on the cheek because uh, I was trying to like, like turn my head the other way oh. as she did it. Like she was probably aiming at this direction, but then I yeah. like I was like, oh, and then she went like that. Uh, I don't think that counts as the first kiss. I mean, I'm not really. I mean, to I be mean, fair, I wouldn't want to be touched by that woman. She's a oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> nah, you guys are awful. <laughs> wow, bro. She. I'm just being honest, cause like even even that like the kiss on the cheek. That I feel like, especially when you're young, I feel like that means a lot. Oh yeah. yeah. Like oh, even for I, I've never even been kissed like period, and I feel like if like it got wasted like that, I would be upset too. Like I would. I would be pissed. Nah, does that count? Does that count? No, it like I, count. I, I it think definitely doesn't count. And I'm like, I mean, I haven't really done anything at all since. So, like, does that even count? Like, am I? Just, no, dude. Is that it, just like all my record? First of all, you can <laughs> you can choose because like a lot of times people aren't comfortable and stuff. So it's like you can't just like you know allow that to be your first kiss. Like also, like it wasn't even on the lips. So like it, that's it, a straight it, violation. That was this skanky ass girl. Oh, dirty ass. That was nah, that was Damn, crazy. you guys are wild. Spin the bottle freshman year, man. I, I've never done that. If you're not tongue, if you're not shoving your th your tongue down her esophagus, it is not a kiss. All right, Jordan. Oh, yeah. Gotta ease all the pedal, dog. Right, the what? So. I guess I'm. I guess I'm. You gotta ease all the pedal, there, dog. How's right, that? So. How's that a pedal? Pedal. No, 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 no. Oh, pedal. Pedal. A pedal. Oh. I was like, God, like, what did I do, bro? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that that's pretty much what happened, you know. First kiss, first kiss, you know, it's pretty, pretty magical, count. honestly. Oh, God, can't get any better than that. <laughs> Wait, you all y'all had your first? Well, Fabian, right? You had her yours. Oh, right Fabian's now. had plenty of kisses, bro. Yeah, this man. Oh, uh, yeah, he's dating a shawty right now. Was it like a magical moment yeah, we, for you? Like, was it a big deal for you? Actually, I talked about this with Jordy on the podcast, I think. Yeah. Did I, Jordy? Was it when you went to to school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Actually, it was probably the best, like, the most, like, cinematic this time around. Because my other relationship was, like, whatever. But this one, it was, uh, it was, no, like. I, it feels so much better when you know it's, like, it's the right person. When it's, like, just you and them, like, nobody else in the middle. Like, for, for real. When there's some skanky-ass girl, and I'm just saying it because of Adela. Like, it just feels fucking, it doesn't feel special. It don't feel. On top of that, though, I feel like there's, like, a lot of hype for, like, the first time for everything. But, like, a first kiss, like, 
it's like yeah it's, it's like a, a milestone i guess but like at the same time bro it's just a case like it's not like a big deal it doesn't really yeah, matter crazy yeah yeah i'm still waiting for the first time someone acknowledges my existence <laughs> that's a bigger deal <laughs> Buddy, you gotta put yourself out there. See, I do, and I just happen to meet these trash ass women. (laughs) You just get unlucky, dude. Honestly, Uh, actually, I take that shit back. Don't put yourself out there. Work on a perfect you, (laughs) work on a perfect you, and a perfect person will come to you. That's how it works. Like, I'm having a photo shoot tomorrow, by the way, so keep an eye out. Nice, I bought something very special. Oh God! I don't like how that sounds to you. <laughs> like, I'll just say um, it. <laughs> I bought a blouse. I why oh, did I think it was something related to bring that? It back. What? A blouse? Yeah, a blouse. A blouse. I thought you meant a dress, so like a shirt. Nah, well, I feel like a dress is a little too od, but a blouse is just right. Oh, you on you're on your you're on your like Harry Styles type beat. Well, yeah. yeah. But like I just for some reason fell in love with this blouse like the the moment I saw I don't know why. Like I just like I like a lot of female like clothing more than like men like for some reason. Like I just like the like they just have like really cool ass patterns like on God it just looks more drippy. (laughs) And I think it's also just more comfortable period because like it's like it tends to be a lot more stretchy. Like, the fabric mm. is just a lot more stretchy, so, like, you don't have to worry about, like, the shirt, like, suffocating your arms or anything. Yeah. I feel you. That's what people see. were saying about, like, the whole Harry Styles thing. They were, like, like, some people were, like, oh, Harry Styles is, like, is, is, is like, blurring the image of what a man is supposed to be, like. And it's, like, bro, like, this man is just minding his business. Why are y'all tripping? And then people were like, hey, have you ever worn a dress before? It feels amazing, bro. Like, you got the breeze running through your legs. And I was like, damn, I never thought about that. <laughs> it does feel amazing. I can confirm. <laughs> you wore, like, three <laughs> I've worn, I've worn, like, multiple dresses. Oh, yeah. Damn. Bray's an expert on this topic. Wait, that's... I just really said that without higher content. <laughs> hey, they'll live. Okay. On that note, I, or do you do you have something? For I want to see this blouse. Do you have something else already? Wait, y- y'all trying to see the blouse? So, I want to see the blouse. Honestly, yeah, I mean, okay, make I'll... it sound like it's very. Well, I feel like I overhyped it. I'm I mean, not gonna lie. It's it. kind of basic. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm being told to show, it, it's pretty basic. But I'll I'll show it. Oh, oh, he's actually gonna show. Up. I thought he was just gonna pull up a picture. No, what? What do you thought? Some like pull up rocking it. Like he's just like oh, naked. <laughs> <laughs> you won't have it on. Yeah. Whole dress and everything. All right. So here's like how I fall in love with this blouse, right? So I went with Tarjay. I think it was like. It was. So what? Tarjay. Target. 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 <laughs> uh, hold up. I I messed up like my whole seat, like crap. I'm like. Anyways, I went to Target like, I want to say like, a week ago or so, because I wanted to see if they had any like monitors because I was getting my PC right. Yeah. So I like yeah. they didn't have like any monitors right. So like, I was about to just leave, like leave the Target. But like, like in my peripheral vision, like I saw this blouse and I was like, yo, like that's kind of fire. And like I was, like I just like I just really liked it for some reason, but like I didn't buy it that day. So today I went back to Target to like, I actually I went back to Target to buy like a tripod because I don't have a tripod. Uh huh. Because I left mine at at home, so I wanted to do that, and I was like, I I also want to get like the blouse. And like homeboy, it was gone. I was it wasn't there anymore, and I was like, bruh. So then I, I, I like I'm searching for it and then I go to like I see that they have like a clearance aisle and homeboy's there in the clearance aisle and I'm like you dig So this is the blouse right here <laughs> Okay walk me through this like give me like a, a tutorial right like a, a step by step let's play 
how what what's the fit how how we how we adding this on i i wanted to buy like some i also wanted to buy like some like i don't know how to describe the type of pants they're they're more they're more like women pants like bell bottoms i think that's what they're called yeah yeah oh kind of like that but like black kind of like that type of like design but black but but i couldn't find any so i think i'm just gonna put on some like I have like you. You saw like the jeans with the heart, not the hearts. The the butterflies, butterflies. right? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm a I'm a rocket with the those with the blouse. Oh, and they're like it's blue, right? The butterflies. The blouse. Oh, the blouse is blue. Yeah. So it kind of matches. What, what? What's the pattern on it? Because it looks like flowers or something. Like yeah, they're that. like blue flowers. You dig. This is like for a straight up blouse. Like this isn't just like a big ass t shirt. No, use. it's like a straight up blouse. It's like, like, um, like yeah, it's like if this. you found it in women section or whatever. Oh yeah, bro, you you better put that on. He's gonna like snap through it, bro. You're too big for that thing. I made sure to buy a medium because I'm I'm usually I'm usually like a like a small in like men's. So mm-hmm. I try to go. Well, I'm I'm starting to be like a medium in men's because I'm like starting to get big bodied. But like I, I try to. This is like the largest size they had was medium. So, uh, fair you. Yeah. Damn. Fit. Yeah. Peep the, the post tomorrow. The IG. Damn. (laughs) IG post. Speaking of IG, hey Richard, you got like, you've been like in the in the shadow realm, huh? Like you've been just like disappeared, right? Oh, oh, like you're saying, like I've just been like completely off. Yeah, like you I haven't, haven't been, been on anything. Yeah, like, I've, been, I've been kind of like missing. <laughs> like, I, okay. I don't really do anything. So, yeah, that, that's what I'm wondering. Like the question is, right? We used to talk like a decent bit in the group chat, the high school job. was like two years ago. Two years ago. All of a sudden, when the world needed him most, he disappeared, man. And then... But, like, he didn't because you were in the group chat and you would, yeah. like, view our messages <laughs> but not respond. So my question is, why now? Why did this why now? time to come back? And what have you been doing in those two years? You know, like, how how's how you been doing? The two years since I stopped messaging? Honestly, yeah. I've just been, like, I don't know. I don't want to say, like, I've been working on myself, but it kind of seems like it because that's kind of all I've been doing. You know, I, I got, I got like into a lot of like different hobbies and stuff like that. You know, it's, uh, first off, I did the boxing thing, and then yeah. second off, well, actually, to be honest, the boxing thing happened way later. But first off, I got into like the gym and like working out and stuff like that. So that happened like all the way back in two years ago, maybe. But yeah. like in terms of like why now, I think it just has to be. Because because I don't know, <laughs> I felt like I saw the post, I saw the podcast. I was like, I gotta be on there, I gotta be a member or something like that. Like, I feel like not being here, pretty cool. I just thought it was, it seemed fun being here. Hey, yeah, that's dope, dude. Um, well, I don't really have a more like complex answer. I was just like, hey, that's cool. can I be uh, on? Yeah, and then to be honest, I was like, bro, I okay. I thought you don't have like, like a big plan. I was just like I was absent, and then I just like okay, fine. Can yeah, I be on dude. There? I thought you were like you guys a super villain, <laughs> bro. I thought you were like scheming <laughs> on like how to like tear our podcast apart from the inside. I was like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he? <laughs> but nah, it's cool. casual. <laughs> I'm just a casual. I was like, hey, it seems kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Be... Yes, can I be a guest? No, you're not. I'm... You're a founding father, like for real. Yeah. And dude, you know what? I can I be honest? I feel like of all of us here, like we've all gone through a lot of changes over like the, those four years of high school. But I feel like no one's gone through as much change as you. You know what I mean? Like just like you know, obviously appearance wise too. But like I feel like even like right now, like I feel like I'm talking to like a different Richard than I did like even like before when we was when we used to talk. You feel me? Like I don't know. Like oh yeah, I'm a lot. There's like. There's like more confidence and like more like you like more out there. You feel me? Like I feel like you used to be like super super shy. Yeah, cause um, cause like I was I was like you're like are you before we even start I was like you're like are you gonna be able to like turn on your webcam? Cause I I like 
like I just genuinely thought that he like didn't want to he wasn't gonna want to turn it on yeah but like I was surprised when he said he was down to turn it on and I was like yo like it's kind of because like I I'm I'm gonna be honest like I never expected you to to like want to turn on your webcam so yeah yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't think that's, like, a confidence thing. I think I'm just, you know, like, I'm just used to the Zoom calls and stuff like that. No, so, well, yeah. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, webcam? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm never, without my webcam, I'm, like, watching, like, a lecture or something like that. So. Yeah. Well, I think what Jordy's <laughs> just trying to say is, like, like it's going to be posted on the internet, you know, like, anybody can see it, you feel me? Oh, true, true. Yeah, when, it, when I heard it was streaming, I was like, okay, that's kind of cool, but, you know, yeah. to be all in to be, like, like you know, yeah, for sure. Turn for off sure. the cam and then. Still wondering when Luis is gonna turn on his though. I can't see it. Wait, really? What? Like, I don't know if it's not if it's on for the stream, but I can't see it right now. Yeah, I can see. Oh, it. I can see. I can oh, see it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, that's, that's on... my issue. What the? <laughs> yeah, he's okay. been on this whole time. Yeah. I, I've been wanting to bring it up. I thought like, I thought nobody could see Luis. No, oh, no, we, we, we like, wouldn't oh, have started if we couldn't see Luis. Yeah, no. Damn. Okay, I don't, I don't know what's the problem. I think I just, huh. I don't know. I, I mean, don't you're know. not missing much. I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. <laughs> this man's just playing PlayStation. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he's <laughs> yeah, playing out here. Damn. So, does anyone have like any topics they want to talk about, or? Um, I got one, but I don't know if you want to go first. Well, how big is yeah. it? Cause like, I don't. I feel like mine might take a while so if yours is like short we can you know just get it it's like medium i'd say um just to get because okay so we all went to high school together you know this is called the high school dropouts podcast so there's like a uniqueness of the four of us being here you feel me because last episode we had turnick which he's a dope dude but like we we couldn't really connect because you know we didn't we're not from the same place we didn't go to the same school we don't really know each other you know Mm -hmm. Right here, we all we all all interacted in person before, like for real, for real, in real life. So I just wanted to get you guys' take, um, just like on a vague, general sense. You feel me? Like, how was your high school experience? And oh, what, the... what are some highlights? What are some highlights? And what are some lows? What are some anything you want to talk about from like those four hellish years, man? I think you like got silenced at the end. Oh, uh, yeah. Just basically, how's your high school experience, man? Um, do you guys want to like start from like somewhere and go like clockwise, or how do you want to do? Yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Let's start with let's start, start with Richard. Let's start with the guest. He's not a guest. <laughs> Wait, he's not a guest. <laughs> you know, guests. I could start. I could start. Go for it. I mean, it was. I thought it was great. I mean, definitely some lows in there. A lot of, lot of low moments. You know, times where I was like, "Damn, am I really gonna? Am I really gonna pull through? Am I really gonna get out of here with like, with some success?" But you know, I mean, I think most of the time I was just like, try to make the best of it. You know, I mean, I got like a lot of people. I like most of the people that I know now is because of what I did while I was there and I don't know I mean I, I did some cool stuff but at the same time I feel like a lot more could have been done especially Facts. like last year for us because you know we we got we got snagged of like our all of our like biggest events that we were going to do like we were supposed to have first off the prom then like yeah. the actual graduation yeah and the fact that we didn't have any of those it kind of gives it kind of makes it feel like a little like like unfinished in my opinion i feel like it's unfinished. yeah dude that was weird like the semester just like we just had we went to spring break and then spring break got extended and then we just never came back with like uh, the spring break that never ended all of a sudden like everyone was like <laughs> tripping about like oh no prom everyone was like no graduation like that was, that was hey weird. i was happy on oh, god i i wasn't gonna go to prom anyway i was dragging <laughs> all of you down with me <laughs> i don't I'm not no social butterfly. I don't give a fuck about prom, if I'm being honest. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I, me neither, but I still kind of wanted to go because it's like a one-time thing, you feel me? Like, you never get to go again. Did he have a girlfriend at that point? Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, Richard's girlfriend. Oh, I must have phased out. Did I phase out right now? 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me. See. I don't know what happened, but everybody just cut off at the same time. I, yeah, I don't you're know. Back. If <laughs> but yeah. Um, good. Yeah. Were you? Did you date someone at? Were you dating someone at that point? Me? Yeah. He was not dating. Was that English teacher? He was. He was trying to speak in my Saudi. That's what he was trying to do. English teacher. Yeah, yeah bro. English teacher. <laughs> Zinky. Oh, Ms. Ms. that was Zinky. freshman year. <laughs> we'll try to get in that shit. Everybody's trying to get on it. Not. <laughs> Damn. To be fair, though. But anyway. That's my, everybody's first crush right there. No, literally, like, all the IB kids. I'm pretty sure every single IB boys has one thing in common, and it's that they were crushing on Ms. Zinky freshman year. I didn't bro. even have her class. <laughs> I didn't oh, even have her class. Like, <laughs> I still know what y'all are talking See, about. See, I think I'm built different because I didn't have a crush on her. I hated I mean, that woman. I didn't hate what? her, but... <laughs> she refused to give me a good grade. <laughs> bro, no, because, bro, she was actually, like, a, a good teacher, and she was, like, a nice-ass person. Like, she was, like, um, pretty understanding. Uh, Which, that's a you're lot. You're just saying that because you're, like, legit the only person who got a day in her class. That's like, bro, shit, dog, stop tripping. <laughs> I'm hey, God, Mizuki, dude. get out, out of though, here. So wherever you at. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't say that, you cheater, you whore. No, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. But um, that's that's like rare to say about teachers, but especially how the rest of the year went. Because for me, oh. high school was, I mean, high school was cool, you feel me? A lot of like the fun stuff came from like, you know, obviously my friends and like the like band and like the clubs that you would like do. But um, shout out chess club, of, shout out chess club, <laughs> the real ones, <laughs> and uh, you know a lot of it was cool because of the people. Even some of the teachers were cool. Like, but Mr. Alvarez will always be the greatest person I've ever met. Shout out to uh, Hell no, forget that man. <laughs> I can't stand. You know, but I feel like it's weird because even the people that I hated, like, worst. there was like a dynamic of like hate and like love for teachers. You know, like I was like, I hate y'all, but like you kind of make this like little anime arc of my high school <laughs> experience kind of pop off. <laughs> Oh, you, you, you got silence. <laughs> yeah. No, I just stopped talking. Oh. <laughs> okay, so like, I guess we, 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 we said comment. screw the, the clockwise thing, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go, <laughs> Lisa? Should I go or High Holly? school, okay, I'll go. High school for me, like Richard said, it was ups. And there's, there's a lot more downs than ups, but... <laughs> I did learn a lot from that experience. Uh, to be a better person, better with females, better better me overall. Just <laughs> I I don't know. I learned a lot, even though I did make I I fucked up a lot. I I'm pretty sure you guys know some of the mistakes, not all of them, but I did fuck up a lot. So you know, it was a very unique experience, dangerous at first. So. For the first few years. Yeah, yeah. You guys don't know the whole situation. The whole situation will went down really well. It was pretty unique for me. I hated it, not going to lie. Best for years of my life, my ass. But <laughs> I, yeah, I'm glad I went through it. And it wasn't just high school. Like, during high, it was just my life outside of high school that changed me a lot. So I'm glad I went through all those fuck-ups. And I would do every single one again if it meant that I was the same person I am right now. So Damn. I'm glad I went through that shit. So. Bro, every now and then, Luis be hitting us with the gems, bro. Like, sometimes he'd be spitting, bro. I would have liked it better if he said he would He would have done it all over again if it meant he would have met us. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was, I was, we're part of that whole situation. <laughs> I so. would have cried if he said that. <laughs> But yeah, Jordy. Oh yeah, Jordy. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh God, this man. Have I ever have I ever vet? No, you can't vet. We didn't vet. <laughs> um, I, I I don't think I'm gonna get. I might get emotion. I'm I'm not sure. Oh God. Um. What? <laughs> Okay, I'm probably like over like hyping it or whatever, but I just this legit like just changed who I became. Like, 
mentally yeah. like i became like a whole different person like this is crazy like, i'm not the freshman the person who i was freshman and sophomore year it's just like a completely different person who i than who i am right like right now like it's just crazy um <laughs> Um, so pretty much my freshman and sophomore year, like I had no friends. I'm just going to like, I don't know if I, I guess I talked to you guys, but like, I I was legit, like people would legit just call me a mute. Like oh, people yeah. would just say like, I'm a mute. And I was yeah. just like, like back then I didn't care a lot, but like now, nowadays when I look back on it, like I just, it just makes me feel like awful that people actually like it's it's true like i didn't talk but like I, I feel like people saying that you're a mute just has like a bad connotation to it but yeah it's yeah. just like whatever like i was i was shy or what i like legit didn't talk or anything my freshman and sophomore year and like to this day like it's still like it's still something that like haunts me i guess because i'm legit like in a whole nother state and i still don't have any friends <laughs> Like, I still have, like, I still struggle, like, just being able to talk to people. Yeah. But anyways, the, um, I see, I don't even remember if it was, okay, it was probably junior year then. Yeah, it was oh God, junior year. Junior year. <laughs> oh, shit. Should I, I think it's time, boys. Oh, God, boys, buckle in. <laughs> I think it's time I tell the story. Put the seatbelts on. <laughs> the origin story. Um. So it was. I I think it was like between like sophomore year and junior year that I met Fabian. Like. Hey. No, we talked sophomore. Well, we, yeah, like sophomore, year, but like I'd say like. Yeah, I guess sophomore year then. But like. You like became like my, like you became like a really good friend like. I think I I talked to Lise too, but like, I don't know. Like for some reason, like I just, like I just like liked you. I guess. Oh, you are gonna make me blush? Oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 and um, like I I legit didn't like band, <laughs> but like you just like convinced me to join marching band. Like like I I guess I just like wanted to hang out with you or like I don't know. Like but like I ended up in yeah. marching band yeah and um in march like like i said like freshman and sophomore I, I legit like even like not even freshman and sophomore but like just like throughout my whole life like i've just been called a mute and like i just never talked at all so like i low-key just didn't have like any like social skills like i didn't like yeah like i've never had a a relationship like before like i've had crushes but like I've never like actually like talked to anyone. Yeah. Anyways, my my junior year, right? I met this girl she who she was, you know, part of of like the same like how do you call it? Section? Yeah, section. The same section as, as me. You know, we were like the the percussion, like the the fit, I guess. The front ensemble. And, like, for some reason, like, I, I had a crush on this girl. Like, I, I can't even explain why, like, to this day, like. But, like, I had a. What? Me neither. No one can. It's legit a phenomenon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was just God's work, I guess. This man really out here trying to get me. Part of the character arc development. <laughs> Anyways. Character development. Um. You know, I met her, and, like, I had a crush on her, and, like, for some reason, like, because I've had, like I said, I've had crush crushes before, but, like, for some reason, I was, like, I actually want to try this time, like, you know, I'm tired of, like, just, like, being this person who just doesn't try at all, so, like, um, I tried, and, like, we would message each other, and, like, we, we talked for, like, some time, I guess, and, um, mm -hmm. My throat is dry. Let me lubricate my throat. Oh god. Anyways, um, me and this girl, we were just like talking, right? And I, 
Like, I genuinely, like, developed feelings for her. Yep. And, like, it felt like, to me, because, like, in my perspective, it felt like she was also, like, developing feelings for me. Right? And, um, like I said, I was a very, like, so socially, like, inept person. Like, I'm, I'll admit it. Like, I was legit, like, an idiot. And, um, I just so happened to, like, catch feelings for this girl who happened to be mentally, like, like, she was, she was depressed. Like, and when I say she's, she was, like, depressed, I don't mean, like, she was just sad. Like, she would actually, like, just say that she wanted to, like, kill herself. I like, she would just always talk, like... Like, I'm just, like, I was, like, a, like, I'm, I'm gonna just say, like, I was a very innocent kid, like, like, you know, like, I was, I was just, like, I le legit didn't talk to anyone, and, like, for me to, like, my first experience with, like, a girl, for her to, like, like, pour all of this into me, like, saying that she just didn't want to live anymore, that she didn't want to exist, that she wanted to kill herself, all of this, like, in a way, like, it made me feel, like, some sort of way, like, like I like I started to become sad. I was like I became I like started to become sad for her. And um, and you know like I tried my because like, even back then like I, I didn't know what depression was. I, I thought like you can just like. Like you can make someone happy. Like you can cure someone from the depression. Like that's what I thought, yeah. and that's what like I try yeah. to do. Yeah. And um. Anyways um. She just like she would always just say that she wanted to kill herself, and I, like me, like not knowing what to do, I, I would just get sadder and sadder. And like, she would also just always tell me how much she hated me. Like she legit just would say that she hated me, and okay. she would just say things to me that just like that you shouldn't tell someone who you actually like like or like just in general you shouldn't be telling anyone. But she would just legit berate me all the time and tell me how how much she hated me. But, like, in my mind, like, I just always thought, like, oh, like, maybe this is love. Like, I, I don't know why, but, like, this is just what I thought. And, um, you know, eventually she, she told me that she was, like, yo, like, she, she, like, she, she was, like, laughing, too. She was, like, like, I was, she, 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 she oh, my God, <laughs> words. Um, one day she was, like, yo, like, I'm asexual, so... And I was like, "What? What does that mean?" She's All like, right, she'll plant the book. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, and she was like, "Wait, that's when you don't like anything, huh?" Yeah, yeah. She's like, "That means like I can't love anything." That's not true. She just can't like, be like attracted to it. She can't love herself. And um, and I was like, "There's just like, like even then, like it's, I didn't understand the pressure. Like, imagine me understanding like someone being asexual." So I was like, like, there's just like, well, like, what do you mean by that? Like, what do you mean you can't love anyone? And like, she, she just said, like, I can't love anyone. Like, I just can't like catch feelings for anyone. And like that even like that plus her just always telling me that she wanted to kill herself. Like that just made me even way sadder, especially because at that point we, we established that we were like, like, I guess official, we were like. I guess dating, quote unquote. So for her to be saying that like she can't love anyone and for her to like, you know, that yeah. just made me feel like some sort of way. Anyway, she was like she told me like, "Oh, like I just I just dated you because I wanted to see if I can actually like love someone." Like like I felt used at that point. So she broke things off yeah. with me. And, like, not only did I feel used, I felt useless because I couldn't help her. Like, like at the end of the day, she was still sad. She was still depressed. Which, and she was that's saying, not your job to do. You feel me? That's, I, that's but I didn't it. understand that at the time. Yeah, for sure. And, no, I understand, Jordy, because I, I didn't go through the same shit as him. But, yeah, it was similar, I guess, in a way. And like, where you're like, lost. So. And at that point, like, I was like, yo, like, I can't even help anyone. And, like, I'm not even good enough to be loved. And that just spiraled me into, like, a depression where I, like, I, I'm God. Like, I don't know if I even ever mentioned this to you guys, but, like, I wanted to kill myself. Like, every day for the rest of that year, like, I wanted to be hey, bro, just... Hey, we're streaming. 
we're streaming in game in game no and like i'm just gonna be genuine like i don't care like <laughs> oh, i no. legit just did not want to live anymore <laughs> like every day like yeah. i dreaded the day i woke up i dreaded the day i had to go to class i just dreaded the day oh my god like i just <laughs> like i just didn't want to exist and i don't know if this was like because I, I still don't know how to, i don't know if this like depression was just something that like i always had like this just pushed me to the edge but like ever mm -hmm. since then like i've just i've been like there's you remember that one time we were on the call fabian like i just told you like yo like i feel sad for no reason like this is just something that like just happened like i just got depressed for no reason like luckily i haven't felt like like i haven't felt like i don't want to do like, like no more self-harm but like i still get like sad like for no reason anyways that's my story yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, i just want to know yeah. how high school was for you dude <laughs> he went through this whole love Thing, dude but that's honestly i think that's like a very accurate representation like the fact that three of us had like a decent experience and like one is like a lot of it is like depression oriented like it, it that's like actually like truly reflective of how high school really is because a lot of it like there are some good sides and stuff but like a lot of it is like mentally straining and like socially you're just like stressed out and you don't even know what to do and how to handle emotions because a lot of times you're feeling them for the first time at that age and especially for you to go through it like that, bro, like, that could, that's po that's honestly probably the worst possible way you could experience something like that. And, I mean, that's just how depression is, you know? Like, you don't even know why you're upset, why you're sad, but it just hits, and that's you can't save anybody. You can't expect to cure anybody of anything, you know? That's just how, how it is, but I'm glad you're in a better place. You know, that was a dark time, obviously. And uh, bro, the because you know, I was holding it in for so long too, and like just one day, like my yeah. chest was hurting. Like I, it's so weird to say, but like it was just like I, it was like physically like building up like all the emotion, and I was like, yeah. like mom, like I, I legit like walked up to my mom. I was like, like my chest hurts. And she's like, what do you mean? And then like I was like, like my chest is like it just hurts, and then like I just started breaking out in tears, and she was like. She's like, you're going to be all right. And I was like, no, like, I legit want to, like, I don't want to be alive anymore. Damn. Like, I, I legit told that to my mom. I was like, I don't want to be alive anymore. Like, I don't want to live. Like, and, um, you know, she, my mom, like, just really, she also just was a great, she's a great mom. But, like, she, she really helped me a lot throughout, throughout all of that. Damn. Oh, yeah. Dude. I don't even know what to say, man, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you remember, but, like, I legit, like, didn't go to school for, like, a whole week. Which, oh, same. <laughs> which I, yeah, but, like, for me, like, in, like you know, because oh, yeah. I was always going to school. Like, I think I had, like, a legit, like, perfect record until, like, up to that point yeah where i just like legit missed like a whole week because i was yeah that's crazy dude i think everybody can relate you know like a lot of people and i mean maybe not to that extent because yours is like really <laughs> really that far you know but like like everybody i think everybody had at least a dark period during high school like that's like one of the like most critical moments in your life you know you're just like adulting for the first time like bro i i missed school for like a month <laughs> remember <laughs> Like yeah. Bro, when it. didn't you miss school? That's the question. <laughs> no, no, no. But junior year was out of out of like sadness. <laughs> Senior year was out of like, man, I'm not. I'm not trying to go to school. <laughs> but and even I know you, Luis, had like those times too. Like you know, and not everything was sunshine and rainbows. You feel me? Uh for me it was just like the whole Martha situation. And I guess for me, <laughs> it wasn't even that. That like, there he goes again mentioning Martha. <laughs> nah, that's, that's, that's what like. That was like the life changing point for me. Yeah, it I wasn't agree. even her. It was I had like uh, other issues uh, going on at home, and I just don't want to talk about it. But yeah, yeah uh, that kind of like tied in together. And I was just like, I don't know, because I guess I don't know. 
I was used to her, but then like she did that shit, so fuck her. But you know, I'll go down. <laughs> the the weekly daily reminder. The too. weekly Martha Disney. <laughs> that has to be a new segment too. Uh, <laughs> now I honestly like. For, I don't think so. I appreciate her for doing all that shit. Like to be honest, like I appreciate that shit. Like honestly, if I could talk to her, I wouldn't. But um, if we were to talk in, I'd that us thank her for that shit. Opening my eyes. Hey, bro, don't let me, don't, don't leave the podcast on like that. Like, you wouldn't smack this hoe up bro, right there I'm on site, bro. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> if it came down to it, maybe. Damn. We went deep. We went deep for like a whole segment. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. That was, I did not expect that to go there, dude. But, um,. You said you have one more topic, bro? Yeah, it's let's, a good thing we did your topic first because Ben is more yeah, lighthearted. Bad, <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's get it. Hit her up one more topic. All right. You know, Fabian, I'm going to make your block hot now. Oh. <laughs> um, so I think it was a week ago, right? Well, you don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but you made a purchase, an interesting purchase. How the fuck do you know that? Wait, what? Did I? Yeah, you did. Uh, what, what? What is it? You may, We were talking about it in the podcast. like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I wanted to get your review. Like, you know? <laughs> okay. Oh, what? <laughs> so, I think it was last week we talked about it. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. It was, no, it was like two weeks ago. Yeah, me and you were talking about... Um... <laughs> pubic hair you know yeah there you go oh <laughs> basically we were talking about like i don't know how it came oh we were like we were like saying like oh would you ever get waxed like down there and i was like no, no. wax yeah wait you got no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> i didn't no but like i did talking about, like no you <laughs> but we were just talking about like like what is like the best method to do it you feel me and then like when we started talking about it, i was like i was like kind of curious so i like started searching stuff up and all of a sudden, there was a deal for Manscaped, the yeah, freaking right. little, 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 little trimmer thing, you feel me? Oh, I have it, bro, the 2.0. Oh, we could get... <laughs> oh, two reviews. Hey, we can get two reviews. Wait, you got the 2.0? I got a 2.0. Damn, I got the 3, bro. Ooh, God. God. <laughs> yeah, there's a new one. <laughs> I feel like it's the same one, but they just it's put the new numbers. It's just the new one has a fucking flashlight on it. Oh, yeah, I got a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're not going to be shaving <laughs> Dark dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, brother, I was gonna say, is it water? You gotta see, man. <laughs> yeah, it's waterproof. Like that's all you need, brother. Waterproof, not no fucking plastic. Why, like, why you get a flashlight too? <laughs> Dude, that I like, should I bring it? That you, should I get it? You go ahead. Just huh? make sure you don't have no hairs. <laughs> should I, am I actually better? I mean, go, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back too. I'm kind of curious. Oh, he's about to get it. <laughs> This is definitely a good. Yeah, no, that I love that product. Amazing. Bro, I need it. that. Bro. No, oh, it's pretty cheap too. It. Like, it makes it a hell of a lot easier, bro. It is like, dangerous. Okay, we're all, all pulling right. out our our tech and make sure there's no hairs. There it is, no, boy. You it out. Oh no! Yeah, hey, you did. <laughs> <laughs> like ready, 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 ready. Yeah, oh, that's so hot. <laughs> that's pretty dope. And uh, you know what? I'm I'm kind of satisfied. Not gonna lie, Ooh. it actually it actually does the job well. Like, it, does, it does its bit, bro. It does its thing. I mean, it still it can still hurt you because mm-hmm, it's yep. hand. And let me tell you, because I don't fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> but it still does the job. <laughs> I be giving myself a little fade, bro. Like that shit does a bit, bro. <laughs> it does the bit. Yeah. No, it actually does. Like obviously, you can. not Honestly, it, so. it was the best fifty dollars I spent. Wait, it was like, fifty for you? Ever. Yes, I got it when 50? they didn't have deals, and mine is like it was before the thing. Job. Oh, wait, am I about to expose myself? <laughs> so I bought mine with like the the package, like the full thing. Which comes with like the the ball deodorant. It comes with uh, a like a, a toner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And it comes with like some other stuff. And then it comes. Wait, with a pair it comes of with boxes. the one and the two clips. Huh? 
do it come with different clips or is it just like one like razor and then oh so it it comes with like this automatically but then it also comes with another one and then you can put it on there and that's it It (laughs) no but like he's saying like there's like a little you know how like you said you say like oh i wanted two on the side yeah like you know It's like yeah, it comes with one. one at the yeah, it comes with one. Oh, uh, okay. So you can either do it like this, or you can put the one that they give you. Which so do you be fading you yours with the two on the side? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it came with a pair of boxers, and I do be wearing them right now, boys. Oh. <laughs> Just so you know. What about the deodorant? What about it? <laughs> you know, like, like, does it like, does the smell? I guess like persist for the whole day. It's weird. It, I feel like it doesn't have a smell, but I feel like that's the point. It kind uh, of just like it's just so like when you sweat and do all that because we sweat, yeah. so it does not give you the nasty smell. That's it's not- literally it's literally like regular deodorant except it's like a cream. So you're literally like rubbing some cream on your balls, bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But can you just imagine? It's like this- lotion. It's literally like lotion. No. Oh, interesting. Where you know, well, I'm about to like. <laughs> cut this segment from the podcast and send it to them so they can sponsor us. On oh, God, <laughs> why that, that free advertising? <laughs> There's a YouTuber that I bought it. That, that's why I bought it because of him. Yeah, me too. The part owner of it, so I was like, oh, that's <laughs> it. It's called Teaching Men's Fashion, bro. Shout out to my boy Jose. Oh, I know that one. I know uh, that one. He, bro, he don't teach me a lot of things, bro. Like, I, I don't. Okay, so, uh, put me on the spot. so guy, after guy. after Fabian told me about his purchase, you know, like deodorant, I was like, I felt a little self cautious. Pun intended. Oh, I see what you did. Awesome. There. <laughs> oh, okay. So, <laughs> so I was like, yo, like, like I want to get myself some of that deodorant too, like you know, like you dig. So, yeah. like, I was searching, like, online. Uh, like, I saw that Old Spice had, like, a little, like, deodorant-type beat. Yeah. And I was like, okay, so, like, it's Old Spice. It's, like, a commercial brand, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, they might have it, like, in, like, retails, right? So, um, I went to, like, this this market. Like, I it's, like, more of, like, like a... Why is Reese, Reese Red? This man's in yeah. hell. <laughs> Yo, Luis, you're, you're <laughs> Yo, you look good. On my end, yeah, I don't know what y'all talking about. Wait, you can't see it. I don't see anything. Wait, you guys don't see anything? What the hell? I I don't see him red. (laughs) Oh, it went back to normal. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's so weird. Anyway, you're saying? Um, hold up, let me go back to the. Um, yeah, I felt a little self conscious. Uh, I went to the, and I saw the Old Spice joint. So I was like, surely they have like in like retails, right? Retailers. Um, so I went to like, there's this place called like Oscar Myers, And it's kind of like a fries, like, you know how like fries has like everything and like it even has like its own like pharmacy section with like, like body wash and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They also like sell like deodorant like over there, like in Oscar Myers. Uh-huh. So I was like, I was like, yo, like they might have it there, right? So I go there. And like Wait, they don't have none of it. But isn't Oscar Myers like that that brand for like bacon uh, uh, and shit like that? Yeah. It's like a, I think I'm confusing it then. It's Oscar something. Oscar Myers. It might be cool. Oscar Myers. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna promote them, is, so it don't matter. Yeah. Anyway, I went to Homeboy Oscar's crib, right? And like it didn't have it. So I was like, you know who might have it? Target. <laughs> so i go i go to target right and like i'm searching everywhere and like and i'm like i go to like the men's section like the men's like like the men's section like i can't find it in like the deodorant or any of the, anything like that and so i go to like to the condoms because <laughs> to the condoms because it's like you know it's like it's like the dick, right? I go to like the dick section, which is the condom section. I'm like, they might have like dick deodorant in the condom section. 
So like I'm just looking there and I look like a goddamn sex fiend because I'm like legit like looking at all the <laughs> lubricant flavors. <laughs> they have hella lubricant flavor. Bro, they have pumpkin spice lubricant on God. Wait, why? <laughs> what is you're not eating it or you should or maybe, I don't know. No, you're not eating that but when the girl gave you when the girl give you brain, it tastes better. <laughs> that's, that's spice. Cool. So yeah, they had that that um pumpkin spice lubricant, and then I just looked like a freak, like just like looking at all the lubricant, because I was looking for the goddamn deodorant, and I couldn't find it. And then I, I I remembered something. I was like, yo, like women have like pussies, right? Oh my god! And you got to keep the pussy yeah. pH levels oh. to a certain degree. You have oh, to keep no. that boy clean. So oh. I go to the women's section to look for pussy cleaners, oh. and I find. <laughs> A pussy spray. Oh, bro. <laughs> so this is what I've been using on my meat. Dude, got some this... Dude, the only reason Jordy wanted me to talk about my, my trimmer is so he could mention this. This pussy spray. So if you ever want to know what pussy smells like, this, oh, this is it right God. here. Is that Summer's Eve? <laughs> yeah, it's Summer's Eve. <laughs> so yeah, I, I yeah. put this joint all over my meat. Because I was searching it up, right? I was like, yo, like, if you can't find deodorant... Because surely, like, every man has, like, this problem where they want to deodorize their balls, right? Yeah. So I was like, like, what method can you use? And they're like... And I saw that it said, like, oh, you can use talcum. Talcum? Talcum, I think. Talcum. Talcum? Yeah, talcum. I just said it in Spanish because... Oh. Baby powder. <laughs> Baby powder. And I was like, yo, that sounds like a smart idea. And then I was reading the side effects of baby powder, right? And apparently baby powder absorbs all the moisture. So if you put it in your balls, your balls are going to get dried up and they're going to start getting ashy and they're going to crack up. And I was like, oh no, I am. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you serious? Yeah. Whoa. So I was like, that's, that's cool. a dead statement. So I went for this pussy spray that has Moist no dry. baby powder, no talcum. Damn. You women know. got it better than us. They do, honestly. Women, women got everything, bro. Like, like women, it's like general cleaning or whatever, like just normalized. Like it's normal for so it's many, like, like normalized for them to have their pussies clean, but why isn't it normal <laughs> for us to have our dicks clean? Yeah, that's true. You gotta bro. use the five in one shampoo to clean that shit. That's not, <laughs> not right. <laughs> that's not right. You <laughs> Bro, if you use the two in one shampoo conditioner, you're a hand musty, bro. You're a hand musty. Oh, dead ass. The shampoo conditioner is like I use it. For me, like I have curly hair, I can't use and that. Sh my head and shoulders, head and shoulders, and balls. I use a two in one. Nah, you're not supposed to use two in one. But I have a I good reason one. why. Why? Because I have to take all my stuff to the bathroom, and I didn't want to take the conditioner and a shampoo. So why just oh. take take two and one? You're nah, musty. Like, oh my god, I hate two. you guys. <laughs> one reason to use it. And it's not like I cared about my hair anyways. Oh, body wash too, huh? Dirty ass. What? Probably use that like, uh, body wash too, huh? Dirty no, I have ass. like Dove. Oh, okay, nice. Soap. Yeah. Yeah, I use bar soap. Bar soap? Bro, Irish Spring is like the best smelling thing I've... like. Period. It smells good, but it's not good for me it's either. Strong, bro. It's strong. Whenever <laughs> I smell that, it feels like you're taking a lot of cold in your nose. <laughs> yeah. You're pretty close, close to your nose. It shit burns. <laughs> that shit burns. It burns. It's like, I would never put that anywhere. Right, Joe? I see. Now, back at home, I used to shower with Irish Spring all the time. But, anyways. That was just me promoting the pussy spray. You know, if you <laughs> want to check it out. Got it, bro. Summer wow. Eve, five in one. Neutralizes odor, absorbs moisture. Oh, crap. <laughs> Won't disrupt your pH level. Talc free. Hey, we have a pH level? Oh, you know. Make it ass. Men should have a pH level, too. On God. Wow. But anyways, that was, I think that we've reached the, the end of our... I think that's a very topics. fitting end, ending point. <laughs> the God. God. Well, Richard... The um, last topic. <laughs> I know, right? 
I hope you enjoyed the experience. Talking about food deodorant. Yep, as weird as good. it is, bro. I don't even know how we got here. Um, okay. but yeah. That... What else? What do we do now? Oh, we 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 have to end the show. So it's over, dude. Uh, how 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 you how you what what before we go though? Like, what are you, what's your plans, bro? Like, what what's what's the future looking like for Richard? Oh, facts. My plans. I mean, I got literally an entire month dedicated to like do whatever I want. So, True. I mean, I just, I don't know. I mean, I might, I might go out. I might travel. You know, I, I haven't, I still haven't been to the, the oh, ASU okay. campus. So I might go there. You're the problem. I might go. I might go over there see what's up. I feel like I might do some stuff like that. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna sit here and. I don't know. I don't know. Look around, explore. Yep. Yeah. This might have been the worst time to ask for future plans since like break is coming up. <laughs> There's nothing to do. Well, to be fair, I have no plans yeah, either. Not... I mean, me neither. Like everybody is just like gonna be chilling yeah. for a bit. No, I mean, I have no plans after today. Oh really? <laughs> hey, bro, let's hop on PlayStation. Oh yeah. Apex, come on now. Oh, oh that is. So here's the thing with me. So since we out of school and I only work and people the hair alone though. Since uh I only work two days, Saturday and Sunday, and I'm out of school for a whole month. So I'm gonna just be on my grind, working out, doing all that stuff, and working five days a week. Two until one in the morning chasing the bag. Damn. Hey, Yo, check. I feel you. I wanna do that too. I wanna hey, just awesome. Oh god, dude! I want to start just like abusing myself at work, just going every day, just like nonstop. Get more than me, so like, really? I don't think so. Don't you get paid fifteen? Oh yeah, but like, don't you work hella hours though? No, I only work like five, six hours at most. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, you be making that bank, bro. I barely be making like four hundred two weeks. Two oh, weeks. never mind then. Yeah. But yeah, that that's uh that concludes another surprisingly special episode that we weren't expecting to have another guest so early on, and especially not one so close to home. But uh, that's been the episode. That's been us. Any last words, guys? Peace out. Um, I will keep. You know, I've been on my streaming grind. You dig? Yeah. Um, so actually, after the show, I'm gonna keep streaming i might play something so yeah make sure you guys follow the stream sorry for bothering you on twitch make sure you follow the youtube channel uh high school dropouts and uh people other podcasts we got a like we got what 10 yo the turning there. podcast is popping off bro is it really yeah it already has like 20 20 plus views hey are they original though <laughs> damn that's 24 views. One of them is mine. Hey, let's go. Well, yeah, I, Richard I out here, like, he's like, yo, these guys are really flexing for 20, 24. I know, my bad. No, I'm sure this will get hella views, too. We're about to put a clickbait ad title, Richard. <laughs> You're about to make your debut. A spectacular if it one. blows up, I mean, it's whatever. If it don't, I mean, you know. No, I was saying, like, we're oh, okay. making a big deal about 20 views. That's that's what I was saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, twenty. Yeah, that's that's a pretty big deal. I mean, it, it barely hey, twenty came views out. is it's a lot. I mean, if, you get, if we if we if you're able to keep that up, I mean, that's like that's like a big milestone, I think. I mean, we usually got ten views in like the span of three days, so we got twenty <laughs> in like one, one day. day. Yeah, you know, we got to take the the little milestones while we can, because eventually it's gonna be like out of control. You feel me? So, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Um, Richard, it's been been a good two hours or so it was nice catching up with you for yeah, two, hours. two hours and yeah. 30 minutes it's been two oh yeah huh two and a half yeah but Ooh, yeah you know Ooh, don't be a ghost you feel me you know text us bro <laughs> oh yeah i'll try not to i'll try not to make this my last experience i'll, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll keep back yeah we'd I'll be glad back. to have you like, like whenever you want to join honestly yeah yeah if it's, I, it's, i'm uh, free i'll you know, i'll shoot the I'll shoot a message. I'll be like, hey, <laughs> did y'all get over me? Am I am I done? <laughs> Just a fade. And then, you know, I'll be like, come back. So, wow. but yeah, no, for sure. We'll, we'll stay in touch. And uh, yeah, everybody else, make sure 
people's other videos, make sure you tune in on the Twitch channel. Every Friday we record these podcasts and like every other day or so Jordy streams on the channel anyway. So peep everything. With that being said, we got nothing left. Thank you, Richard, for being a great guest and oh founder. yeah oh yeah my bad for interrupting love for the oh. new episode for left or dead should be uploaded this weekend hey let's go <laughs> all right nice all right yeah make sure you peep that too all right thanks boys see you later good night bye y'all right,